Now, the economic downturn has had a devastating impact on high streets in the Midlands. In some parts of the region, one in three shops lie empty, and the government recently launched its plan to get people back into town centres by investing millions through the retail expert Mary Portis. But some shops are doing it their own way, basically. Low price and budget retailers are thriving as consumers look to stretch their cash as far as it will go, as Michael Sibbett reports. The recession has been hard on our high streets. Many outlets that used to house established chains and independent stores are now closed for business. But the story's not the same everywhere. With less cash in people's pockets, bargains are becoming even more important. Some of the low-priced stores have just started to turn a profit. The pound stretcher has been hit by uh, fairly hard times and it's just turned it around and it wants to now expand and have 900 stores. So it's interesting to see if it will do that. But obviously Poundland and um, 99p stores are the big success stories of that market. Parliament High Selling Cheap is absolutely working across the UK right now and uh, will continue to do so for the foreseeable future until the Eurozone crisis has been sorted out. Budget retailer Poundland based in Willenhall announced their financial results this week and profits are up to £18.2 million last year. But they're not the only low price store profiting from the downturn. Undercutting Poundland are another Midlands company, the 99p store based in Northampton. They haven't released their financial results for last year yet, but in 2010 they made £6.3 million, up from £1.7 million the previous year. This is the 99p store's warehouse, where up to 2,000 pallets a day of products are brought, sorted and then distributed to their stores across the UK and Ireland. They opened 40 new stores last year, 23 new stores so far this year, that brings the total to nearly 200. Some landlords are even offering discount rates to get the store into their property. In today's market, there is no middle ground anymore. Either you're offering exceptional value or you're a premium brand who are offering an extra premium product or you know, a high-end designer product. There is no middle ground. We feel like the champions of the high streets and you know, we're taking over the empty sites and keeping those parts of the high streets alive. People are looking for a bargain. Uh, looking to make their money go a little bit further. Pound shops and charity shops. That's where people are having to look for their stuff now. You know, everybody's on, on a very limited budget at the moment. You know, I am, most people I know are on the same thing. The recession is clearly changing habits on our high streets, but among the considerable losers are some winners. Their low-cost strategy reaping big rewards. Michael Sibbett for Central Tonight. We both agree we love a pain shop. Yes. Uh, still to come.